Hello guys, Mr. Dynamon2050 here, welcome to another video. In today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you how to install your drivers. This typically is once you've actually installed your OS, your Windows 7 or your Windows 8. And yeah, you want to be installing your drivers to make sure your PC works at its best, and that, you know, all, all your chipset works properly, all your USB 3s on the front of your case work, everything like that. Now by default, a lot of your things on your PC will look a bit strange if you just installed an OS. I just want to say guys, this video has first come from a request from a few people saying that, you know, Fair enough, you showed us then how to build a few computers, you showed, how, you showed us how to put systems together, but how do you install drivers? Now, installing drivers is not much different than just installing a program like Google Chrome or installing a game like Battlefield 4. Now, essentially, what you want to do is you want to have a look at your motherboard. And you want to just grab the first bit of the name. So in my case, is a gigabyte GA-H61M-USB. 3v. This guy is just a spec of my computer. A lot of people ask me, so I've got it saved on my good old desktop. Now, you want to go to your um, internet, and you want to just paste in that name there. Paste it into Google, and chances are it'll just pop up as the first result. As you can see, it has on mine. It's just uh, just on the manufacturer's website. You want to go to the manufacturer's website with, with, with this bay Gigabyte, with this bay Asus, or any other kind of vendor that makes motherboards. Now once you're on their page, what you want to do is go to support and downloads. And then you want to go to, yeah, you want to click on driver and click your OS. Now, yeah, choose your OS, shall say, and, and, and click on it. So mine's Windows 7 64-bit. Am I the most superior operating system to do? And then you're going to get a load of stuff. You're going to get audio, chipset, LAN, SATA, RAID, slash, AHCI. You're also going to get USB 3 and VGA. Now, you, your first thought is that, ooh, do I need to install all these? Not all of them. Not if you don't want them. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, God, Dan, what's a real tech audio driver? What is an Intel INF installer and stuff like that? What's a management interface engine and stuff? Now, if, if you don't know what they are, feel free to download them all and just install them all. Some will fail and say they're not compatible with your system. That's absolutely fine. But, uh, yeah, if, if you don't know what you're doing, and if you're going to watch the end of this video, you kind of know... Um, you will gain an understanding of what they are. Now, first of all, um, just going to go through quite a few of these. An audio driver um, basically just tells them about how to output sound correctly. Now, a driver is, is, is a piece of code or a small piece of software which works with the hardware and tells it how to function correctly. So I'll say an audio driver is going to tell them about how to output to the speakers correctly and make you know, your music sound glorious as it is. Chipset drivers. Now, basically, on the motherboard, you have a chipset. Um, this motherboard is actually a GA H61M USB 3V. So, the chipset on this motherboard is H61. That's just a chipset. A chipset um, on, on the most basic level. I'll just go on good old Wikipedia to kind of allow me to explain it better. But basically, it says on here in a computer system, a chipset is a set of, set of electronic components in an integrated circuit that manages the data flow between the processor, memory, and peripherals. So, there you are. A chipset is something which controls um, just the uh, flow of data within a system. LAN uh, is got to do with a network. LAN stands for local area network and is something which basically uh, just allows your PC to actually connect to the internet and use uh, internet connections effectively. Rather, this be a connection to a router, connection to a modem, or connected, I don't know, to a switch or whatever you're connecting your PC to. Now, as you can see down here, you've got something called SATA RAID slash AHCI. SATA is the interface where you plug in your hard drives or SSDs. Rather, this be SATA 1, 2, or 3, um, which is also commonly known as SATA 3 gigabit or 6 gigabit. SATA is just the interface that you connect to your hard drives. As you can see, see here, you've got the SATA, uh, yeah, the Intel SATA pre installed driver, and you've also got um, the uh, Intel Rapid Storage Technology. The motherboard that I, I have supports RAID. Stands for, RAID stands for uh, Redundant Array of Independent Disks, and as you can see, by installing this, your motherboard, um, you know, when rebooting your computer, you can click F6, and uh, as you can see on here, it says uh, press F6 during Windows setup to read from floppy. Simple as that. Now, moving on to USB 3. This guy is just a USB 3 driver. If you uh, build any PC and uh, plug a USB 3 flash drive, or even a USB 2 flash drive into the USB 3 ports, nothing will happen. And yeah, you've got to install this, download it, install it, and blah. And then for the VGA, it's just a normal, standard kind of display driver. And yeah, you want to install one that's, uh, uh, you know, for your CPU. Typically, a third gen 
um, Intel CPUs, uh, Ivy Bridge, and then second gen Air Sandy Bridge. So Sandy Bridge were the legends that you could overclock the hell out of and they wouldn't get hot. Yes, now we're stuck with shitty fourth gen Haswell. I still have Ivy Bridge, lads, you know. Now, what we're going to do is show you how to download these. Simple as, just click where you live. I live in Europe, so you want to be downloading that one there. In install the, the Europe. In terms of chipset, just go to it. Just go to download them all. Personally, I don't want a, a diagnostic utility thing that I can go with on a LAN driver. I have all these installed, so yeah. Um, I have an Intel SATA pre-installed driver. I don't, I don't want that. An Intel Rapid Storage Technology. I want that. Of course, Windows 3. Uh, Windows 3. A VIA USB 3 driver. Yep, download that one. Um, an Intel VGA driver. Now I'm not going to install that because I've actually got an NVIDIA driver. And talking about that, guys, what you want to do is once you've been, you know, while you're downloading all these, what I want to do is you want to go to your your actual um, make of a graphic card. So say if you've got an AMD graphic card, you want to go to AMD's website. If you've got an NVIDIA graphic card, you want to go to NVIDIA's website. So in my case, you want to go to NVIDIA. You want to go onto their website. Visual, visual compu computing leader. You want to go to <coughs> uh, pro products, processors, and GeForce. Chances are you have a GeForce card if you're building kind of uh, um, gaming builds. Now, you want to go to desktop GPUs. And you want to click on your card. My card is right here, a GTX 770. So, this is my card. As soon as you can find your card on here, you know that you're on your right, right website. Now, you want to go to drivers on this website. You want to go and uh, search. So, GeForce. You want to go to 700 series, uh, 770. Your OS, which is Windows 764. Look at it, it's defaulted. Who likes Windows later? Then you want to click Start Search. It'll find your driver. As you can see, look, they're all down here. Yeah, you want to install the newest one, and the newest one will typically have, have this logo next to it. You want to click on that, and you want to download it. And then it'll be downloading there. Now, I've already got that installed, so I can download that. So that's like well, not 0.3 gigs, so forget that. Once all these have installed, guys, uh, clear it, and then, yeah, just close your internet. You don't need your internet at all. As you can see, you're going to be left with all these. These are the ones we opted to download. You want to right click. And um, you want to click Extract Each Archive to Separate Folder. You will need WinRAR, or say 7-Zip, whatever you want to use. I have WinRAR, and yeah, because it has this neat setting. Extract Each Archive to Separate Folder. Click that. And then each is going to extract into a normal kind of folder where you can install. All good. So just going to wait for this to do. And uh, yeah, we can start installing. And yeah, I'm going to show you what kind of benefits you get from installing drivers. Um, you know, typically, guys, as I said, your hardware is going to be able to communicate with your operating system better, and your computer is going to perform better. Typically, you can't really have a computer without a, a actual chipset in installation. You got to install a, a, an audio driver for your audio to go past point uh, for your audio to go past two point one. In my head, you just got to install these things. It's kind of mandatory, just like installing a graphics driver. I mean, you you wouldn't go try and play Battlefield for with an NVIDIA driver installed. That'd be ridiculous. I don't I don't actually think that will work. Anyway, in terms of the tutorial, you want to go to the folder. You want to go to whatever it is, and yeah, you want to go to the setup. Locate the setup or the .exe file, and then just install all of the drivers. So this is the Intel management in uh, engine components. As you can see, um, just click next. I want to click yes. This guy's is the typical kind of setup process because it's because these are um, because these are uh, things that I'm installing for your motherboard. You aren't going to get no junk toolbars or anything. As you can see, this one failed. So chances are it's already installed or computer doesn't need it in that case. But in the bin, as simple as that. Next up, you want to install this one. This one is the LAN driver, and yeah, you just want to locate the setup. So click on that. Click yes. And yeah, click. So as you can see, my, mine is installed, it's why it's gone on repair. But yeah, you just want to install it and have voila, all, all good. Uh, and cancel that. Yep, I want to cancel. Yep, finish, cool. So, yes, yeah, tutorial is not that great because, <laughs> because I've uh, already installed all these on my computer to work as it should. This one is an IATA.CDAXE. You can click on this, let's have a look, see what it is. Yes. As you can see, like, Ended platforms not supported. I mean, yeah, we're getting we're getting fucked now, aren't we? So this is USB three. This one will install for definite. 
So you want to find the setup, which is there. Not that one there, this one here, the setup.exe. Click yes. As you can see, this one's going to install USB 3. I say USB 3 is genius, and uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, it really it is. It's nice and fast. This one is installing, I believe. So here we are, this is the VIA AHCI host controller software package version 2.10C. This guys is for USB 3. Click next. Click I agree. Click uh, next. Um, yeah, you want to tick everything on there. Click next. Next. And that's it. Now it's installing USB 3. I already know mine's installed, so this is an absolutely pointless process. But for you guys that don't know how to install drivers, here's a nice short little tutorial. For you guys installing on different motherboards, it's going to be completely different. And uh, yeah, there's not really much you can do about that. Yeah, I can now go out and buy every single motherboard. But this is how you install drivers. It's not much different than installing software. As you can see, look, error. Product's not available. So already installed. Ha. Huh. So there we are. They're just all failing. So already done. Hmm. So it's opening another program. Give it away. Man. So we've got two more to do. This is the real tech. As you can see, just want to go to the setup. Click yes, and ooh, here we are. So this is installing the HD audio. Click next. Spam all the next buttons. I have already got this installed, and I've got quite a an advanced audio setup. So I'm I'm not going to do that long. So I don't want it to interrupt my current audio kind of setup, and it might actually stop this microphone from working right now. And then the next one you installed in the other one, as again, it's pretty self-explanatory. Once you've installed them, they're installed. Bin them, then restart your PC, and voila. That's how you install drivers. Mandatory things that I kind of needed to make your computer run as best as it can and make sure the motherboard communicates with the hardware and do everything like that. The chipset's the most important one as it controls, as as we saw on Wikipedia there, cheating a little bit. It moves, you know, kind of makes sure the uh, data flow around the main components such as the CPU, GPU, RAM all works efficiently and nice and fast. And uh, yeah, another one for you guys to make sure to install is USB 3 if you have that plugged up. Uh, to the front of your case, because imports will not work by default. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, please feel free to like, comment and also subscribe, and if you guys literally have any, any more requests for me, uh, let me know via email, that's where this one came from, and uh, yeah, just let me know if you have any requests, I'll be very, uh, you know, happy to, you know, fulfil them, um, me educating you guys makes me happy, so that's about it. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in my next video, goodbye.